Alright, it's the end of the day wrap up on the Griffin GAR15. Um, less than 500 bucks from grabagon.com. I started off today hating this thing because it was jamming and failing to feed several times. However, by the fourth mag or so, I had almost no failures at all. The only thing it's still doing on occasion is um, failing to lock the bolt back at, on an empty magazine. Um, that could be the magazines, could be the gun. Either of them could be the magazines or the gun. Um, super, super accurate. Um, after I got through, like I said, maybe 75, 100 rounds, all the failure to feed issues evaporated. Haven't had one failure since, other than the, uh, the bolt not locking back. So, so far, I like it. It's solid. Nice rail system. That's about it. Alright, I've got the new uh, Griffin GAR AR-15. Uh, this is about my third or fourth magazine that I've put through here. I've had consistent fail to feed, fail to fire, or fail to eject, fail to feed. Basically, they have having issues with this thing. I've tried two different mags, same result, using the short mags that works with a bipod. And we're going to see if this is going to continue. It's my first time videotaping it, just want to get record of these fails. Failed to feed. Jam. And that's the end of that magazine. So that was two jams, one fail to feed out of ten. Which is actually an improvement over what it was on the first mag, so maybe it's breaking in. But this is first range report on the Griffin GAR. Alright, I can run another mag. Uh, this one I'm only loading to 9, not to 10, because it seems to consistently not like that first one. And I'll even lock it back to start it off. And this is a 10 round PMAG that I'm zeroing in with here. Nine. Nine. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, uh, Bolt did not lock back on the empty magazine. Locks back when I bring it back manually. And it is staying locked this time when I drop the mag. One time when I dropped the mag, the bolt went forward. So, this might just be a break in period. I'm really hoping that because I don't want to think I bought a piece of shit. Um, grouping looks good. I'm going to go down and check my zero, adjust my scope. Alright, put another 9 in the 10 round magazine. 
just adjusting my sight a bit, see if I can get her on zero, and see if this will run a little bit better. Hoping it's just growing pains on it. Bolt locked back that time. Well, that's good. Maybe she's breaking in. Let's see if I'm done zero. Okay, I uh, got, got it mostly zero. Got to give my wife a shot with this. That's her. Uh, in the background. There you go. Just hit that button to close your bolt. That one there. Yep, it's live. Do I have to do this? Oh, you're good. Uh, no malfunctions. Just uh, that's your magazine. Yeah, there you go. Just push that button and just let it be. So how you like it, Pi? That's nice. You like that's it? That's less of a kick than this. Oh yeah. Uh, because my bipod is not tall enough, do some offhand. It's not the gun, it's me. Right, apparently I suck shooting from a standing position, so I'm going to try from a kneeling. Hold this thing this way. Still sucking, but it's more comfy. No malfunctions. So it looks like it just had about a 30 round break in period. There you go. Alrighty. Middle is me kneeling. I actually hit it a couple of times. A little bit better. 
Uh, top is me on the bench with a bipod. Bottom is me standing, which is total shit. So, that's my comparison. So, I ain't that good at holding this thing freehand yet, but it'll get there. Now? Yep, you're on. That was good. Last magazine of the day. Ugh. Yeah, it is kind of hard to put the green dot and the little black dot, huh? Uh-huh. open. No fails. Alright, let's go fetch some shit. Let's see how you did. <laughs> 